United defends money changer in court. Albert Zikamaychekia, a 31-year-old father of two, found himself embroiled in legal trouble on April 18 when an undercover female police detective approached him at the corner of Engwa Street and Nelson Mandela Avenue. The detective requested mobile phone airtime in exchange for 10 US dollars, using Zimbabwe's new currency, ZIG-130. After Chekia used his phone to make the purchase and received the 10 US dollar note. He was promptly arrested and charged with violating exchange control regulations, which prohibit the unauthorized buying or selling of foreign currency. Chekia, a meter reader for the city of Harare, is now among over 400 people held without bail in Zimbabwean prisons for similar charges. Harare magistrate Ethel Shishira denied bail, citing the seriousness of the offense and the need to protect the new currency from black market activities. Legal challenge by former finance minister. Former finance minister and human rights lawyer Tendai Bite, according to Zimlev, has taken up Chekia's case, appealing to the High Court. Bite argues that Chekia and others are being held on invalid charges, as the United States dollar is recognized as legal tender in Zimbabwe until 2030 and should not be considered foreign currency. In his May 16 bail application, BT contends that the charges against Czechia are non-existent. The exchange control regulations 1996 define foreign currency as any currency other than Zimbabwean currency or gold. Which is legal tender in a country other than Zimbabwe, BT explained. He maintained that since the US dollar is legal tender in Zimbabwe, it cannot be classified as foreign currency for the purposes of these regulations. Historical context and legal arguments. Bita provided a detailed history of Zimbabwe's currency changes, noting that the US dollar was introduced as legal tender in Zimbabwe in 2009. He emphasized that subsequent regulations, including the Exchange Control Amendment Regulations 2017, have continued to recognize the US dollar as legal tender in the country. Bita argued that the charges against Czechia are baseless and that the denial of bail was unjustified. He also highlighted the impracticality of prosecuting someone for dealing with a mere 10 US dollars. Arguing that such an amount could not possibly warrant a custodial sentence. Broader implications. The lawyer criticized the magistrate's ruling, stating that it was influenced by political considerations rather than legal principles. He asserted that citizens should not be criminalized for attempting to survive in an economy where the government and businesses demand payment in US dollars while paying wages in local currency. Bita also pointed out the discrepancy in the government's policies, which allow the use of US dollars for many transactions but do not provide ordinary citizens with sufficient access to foreign currency through official channels. The government's contradictory policies are turning innocent citizens into criminals, Bita said. Czechia's case is a clear example of the mismanagement of the economy and the resulting injustices faced by ordinary Zimbabweans. Appeal for bail. Bita asked the High Court to grant Czechia free bail, emphasizing that the lower court's decision was based on political factors rather than legal grounds. He argued that Czechia poses no flight risk and that there are no compelling reasons to keep him detained. The court's attempt to prop up questionable monetary policies by denying bail is a dangerous precedent, Bita warned. The judiciary should not be used to enforce flawed economic decisions. The High Court is yet to make a decision on Czechia's bail application. The case continues to highlight the broader issues of currency policy and economic management in Zimbabwe. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.